Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about PE Bundler Win City 2 MicroTorrent Bundle Installer. You can observe the detection after installing a MicroTorrent client, and the reason for this is a rather unpleasant behavior of this application. In this video, I will explain what is wrong with MicroTorrent, what are its dangers, and how to remove it. The detection name is pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think there is any need to review it in details. But the question is, why would Microsoft Defender detect an innocent torrent downloading client? The short answer is, it is not as innocent as it appears. And a more extended answer will require diving into a recent history. MicroTorrent used to be one of the most successful programs of its kind. I mean, based on the number of users, their loyalty and auxiliary apps developed for this specific program, it was on top of the hill. But at some point, the developers felt like they needed a lot of money, so the program began displaying quite a lot of advertisements. Users were getting more and more of them with time, but the culmination of this money grabbing happened around 2015, when devs built in a cryptocurrency miner. This obviously caused a massive scandal and left some irreversible stains on the program's reputation. After that story, the developers backed off with the past monetization methods and started packing the installer with other applications, making it a bundler. And that is the exact reason why you see this detection right now. Earlier, it was detected as adware because of the ads, and now, as there are several apps that you cannot reject the installation of, it is a PUA bundle bundle installer. The key danger of bundles is not in the fact of the installation of other apps. This is in fact more annoying than dangerous. No, the real danger here is that no good application is up for such a spreading way. What you should expect here is some kind of driver updaters, questionable antivirus programs, system tweakers, in short, things that are at best just useless. At worst, you may expect them to disrupt normal operations of your system or even deploy malware. Well, but you will ask, what should I do next? First and foremost, I'd advise you to opt for a different torrent client. There are quite a few ones that are just good. Clean interface with no advertisements, no bundle, junkware or other dangerous stuff. And they are even open source, so you will be sure no coin miners or other malware hides inside. The only problem here is that you have likely already installed the microtorrent if you have seen the Wizard 2 microtorrent bundle installer detection so these bundled programs are active in your system right now. To remove them and scan the system for other potential junkware, I recommend using Greninsoft and Timalware. This program will easily find and delete any unwanted and dangerous programs, regardless of their source. Run a standard scan to check the places where unwanted programs typically keep their files. This process will take around 5 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Out to remove the detected threats. Unwanted apps often create huge amount of files, so their removal may take some time. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.